Well, hello guys, welcome back. So forgive the hair, I swear I took a bath last night, but everything's kind of blurry and I can't remember. Um, Lucky has a fun game he wants us all to play. I don't know why, and I don't speak for the gods, but he got really excited when I got, came up with this. It's Easter Monday, and the only thing I ever liked about Easter was the idea that, at least in the church I grew up in, it was an idea of restarting of everything has been wiped clean you know it's like it happens every year it doesn't really but it's like it has you've got a clean slate go forward you've been renewed you know so imagine though let's take that out a lot further Loki wants to play this game because he's like ah! imagine we woke up tomorrow and i'm serious about this imagine we woke up tomorrow and all the books ever written, all the holy books ever written, are just gone. And we can't remember a single thing that was written in them. Rem think that all the teachings that we ever learned about the gods are just out of our head. We, we can somehow remember the names of the gods, but we don't know any of the stories. And all the books ever written on the gods, whether they're fantasy or they were the lore, are gone. They're just gone. That means all the Marvel stuff is gone about Loki. Everything is gone. There's not a single book of theology or anything anywhere. Any book about religion or spirituality is just gone. It's all gone. And all the memories have gone with it. Okay? And we we wake up and, you know, we're in communication with whatever gods we're in communication with. But we're like, we have zero memory of what went on before. And we're like, who are you? And Loki's like, I'm Loki. That, that's that's great. Who are you, though? I'm Loki. I'm a god. What's a god? Oh, yeah, you all forgot. Let me tell you something. This is a great opportunity. And we were a curious species, so all over the world, everything is gone. All the great teachings are gone and everything. And we're wandering into churches, and we're wandering into mosques, and we're wandering into Shinto temples, and we're wandering into hoffs and everything else, and we're real curious little monkeys, and we're trying to figure out what the hell are we doing with this stuff. It was literally our stuff we should remember, but we have no idea. Like, those of us wearing Thor's hammers, we're looking at them, and we're like, this is really cool, what does it mean? And we have no idea what any of this stuff means. And creative species that we are, we have to come up with something to fill in the gaps. And everything is a gap. And the fun starts immediately because one person gets the name Thor for Thor. And another person gets Tour. And another person gets Big Brother because that's what they always called him. And another person gets Steve. And, and you know, and another person gets something else. And same thing with Loki. And same thing with Odin. And same thing with Jesus. Um, some people won't even remember the names of these gods because they either never worked with them or whatever, but, and all the reddits and everything are gone too. All the reddits, all the films ever made, all the music, everything is gone. So there's not a single clue left. There's not a pin. There's not a, anything I haven't mentioned. All of our religious paraphernalia might still be here, but nothing written. There will be absolutely no clues left behind of what we did, and it'll all be wiped from our databases. After we've got done saying, what is this stuff on the national news, and after people have gotten done blaming the Democrats or the Republicans, we won't have religious people to blame because we really won't remember that this was a thing, because everything that had to do with it will be erased from our history as well. We just won't remember the shit. It won't be in a single history book. So imagine, you know, this complete erasure. And we'd be able to start over. The gods wouldn't have thousands and years of baggage. And we'd be able to start over. And it would be very surreal, wouldn't it? Because we'd be standing in the middle of a church and we wouldn't know it's sacred. And we'd all be looking at like, why did we all sit in rows like this? I don't know. Did we show movies in here? I don't know. And then somebody would find the wine and the little pieces of tasteless cracker. What the hell did we do with these? I don't know. What are they for? Lucans would be going around our houses finding My Little Pony stuff and toys and junk food and looking at Loki and going, what did this have to do with anything? I'm the god of that. I'm the god of that. That's what I'm the god of. 
And and Thor's people would be, you know, finding like hammers and stuff like this and going, what did I do with any of this? Um, because they would all see a a opportunity to reinvent reinvent themselves. Because remember, we don't remember their mythology either. Um, and they would really rebuild this stuff. So let's say this goes on for four years and we've totally reinvented ourselves and there's no concept of sin because it's not even remembered. There's no concept of pantheons because we don't remember them and we're we're all getting around along we've achieved real peace everything else and all the religious stuff comes back and we have a choice to make we can either keep going on in our u beautiful utopia that we built which is what a lot of pagans actually end up building on their own the hard way first generation pagans actually do end up building a beautiful utopia where all the gods both live in peace or we can go back to religion and you feel that pull every so often, you know, like communities will be really wonderful and they'll want to pull you in the whole way and they mean well. And you realize that you can either live over here in this beautiful utopia or you can go there. And I said, that's really the pull I've been feeling the last couple of years running the channel. I said, people don't mean mean any harm. Religion works for a lot of people. You know, labels work for a lot of people. I said, but. I said, I would rather live in this beautiful utopia because one of the gods, I don't even know who, asked me the other day, so what would you really want? And I don't know what they were even asking about. And I said, I just want all the gods to live in peace and I want to just worship, you know, not even worship, work with whoever I want. And not that I don't see them as gods and see them as worthy of, say, worship or respect, but I'm much more relaxed about it. And they've been much more relaxed. And I said, I would just like to be able to pick whatever book I want off the general shelf of YouTube and work with that. And, you know, most of the self-help books, for example, are of a Christian background. I said, it's if I could just be in the mindset of spirituality, I could just get that book down and work with it and tune out any of the stuff that I don't need because I don't believe in sin, for example. And I said, I, I was getting success with those books. I said, but if I'm going to be over in the religion thing, or the spirituality thing, well, religion thing, rather, and close myself off, I can't do that. I, you know, I went sideways and crashed into a wall with those books, because almost every book written in the Western civilization is going to have Christianity in it somewhere, often mixed with Buddhism or something else, but it's often going to have Christianity in it. And so we're at this curious crossroads where we can just keep going on with spirituality, have all the gods get along, and we've they've all pretty much universally agreed that somebody pointed out, well, you know Reddit is a trash fire, <laughs> that we don't go to Reddit. It's a nice place to go when you're curious and you're, you want to see what people are doing, but then you're like, oh my god, all these people ever do is fight. And they're fighting over everything. You can either be over here in spirituality land and just be chill and just work with whatever gods come to you and work towards whatever your own unique spirituality is because yours will be different than mine and that's natural and that's good. Or you can go drive yourself crazy. And I'm like, I like the world where we lost all the books because it sounds like hope to me. I like the world where we lost all the books and we lost all the religions and we lost all this other stuff and we had to start over with just the gods because to me that's what it usually is for first generation of pagans. We're kind of living in that utopia and then the recruiters come around and we get drug out of our utopia. So I don't know. You guys can feel free to fill in below but it's like I'd much rather live in utopia than live in any one set space because stuff can change and you know you will just find you have different track records with different gods. Instead of trying to reinvent the wheel to be hap make other people happy just figure out this is the god that I can work with to get a job and this is the god I can work with to achieve my goals and this is the god that's like you know what let's sit here and manifest stuff together because I like doing this. So, you know, you guys feel free to put your thoughts in below. Lucky's excited. He'd l rather live in Utopia and live in a chill, relaxed environment. He doesn't want to live in Norseland, as he puts it. And he's a Nordic god, but, you know, he says, you know, everybody gets so uptight, and then the doors are closed, and nothing's fun. And he goes, you get really down in your energy. 
And Odin, I think, has truly realized that. And I think that was Odin's lesson all along, that you either have to fight to get your utopia back, or I'm just going to keep you, holding you here until you either just go bleh or something. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.